one third of African youth is in the age of 10 to 24. One third, I repeat again, one third. 70% of African population is under 30. Imagine 30%. But what do we have as a vision for this population? What do we have as vision for African youth? I would like to talk to you about a conversation that I had with few young people in my country. I came to them and I asked them the question, what do you want to do after your schooling? What do you want to do after your graduation? None of them has an idea about what they want to do. None of them knows what to do after their graduation. I said to myself, I have to do something for young people of my community. I said to myself, I have to be the change I want to see in the world has one saying said. I initiated my organization that we call Live Your Dream. Live Your Dream is an organization helping young people, training them in leadership, business, and entrepreneurship. We work in Live Your Dream to help students at university to learn about public speaking, to learn about how to be a good citizen, to learn how to be engaged in community activity. Live Your Dream help young people to learn about business, to learn about entrepreneurship. We teach them how to be start their own business because what's happened is most of the time after school we say we do not have a job because we think that government has to provide jobs. But it's happened in reality that government cannot provide jobs to everyone. So we have to do something about this. Reason why the organization Live Your Dream has been now the name sounds Live Your Dream. Each of us has a dream and we are helping young people to live their dreams by providing them quality training on leadership and how to be engaged in a city uh, in a community how to approach one how to get to involve in the community by providing by getting involved in agricultural activities by getting involved in environmental issues how to clean your society your your house how to clean your neighborhood how to encourage other people to come out and clean the neighborhood Recently, I was very frustrated to see in my country that anytime there is a rain, there is a flooding. I said to myself, when I go back home, I have to take those young people out and encourage them to go back to the, the neighborhood. Encourage people to go out, to clean the drains, to go out, to clean, to sweep, so that anytime we have rain, we can avoid flooding. The second thing that I'm engaged and I'm willing to do is to go back in my country, to go back in my community where they are facing gold mining, which is destroying the environment, which is destroying our climate, which is destroying our agricultural system. I would like to launch a campaign to raise awareness about the effects of those practices in our environment. Those practices, the effect in the near future, the effect in our health, the effect on the education, the drop our kids leaving school to go for mining. I said to myself, I have a challenge. The challenge is to go out. The challenge is to encourage people. The challenge is to go and spread the words that the only heritage that we have is the land we have. If we don't take care of it, if we don't take care of this land, the future is on stake. If we don't take care of it, the future we want to 
live for our next generation will not be possible if we continue to destroy our environment, if we continue not to take care of our children, if we continue not to take care of these 70 percent of young people who is under 30. Thank you.